a guy get an idea in his head to ditch pasteurized and try raw milk instead. But after chugging it down, he wore a big frown and spent the rest of the day sick in bed. <clears throat> Coincided with an increased preference for less processed products has been an increased desire to drink raw milk. The reason being is that people believe the heat treatment that pasteurized milk undergoes causes a decrease in the potential health benefits. So is raw milk really the cream of the crop? In order to determine this, we turn to food science, which will be our referee for this exciting bout between raw and pasteurized milk. Milk is an important source of nutrients, such as protein, vitamins, and minerals, and people assume processing by heat destroys these nutrients. According to research, though, there are minimal to no losses of calcium, phosphorus, and essential amino acids such as lysine. In addition, there are minimal to no losses of important vitamins present, including the fat-soluble vitamins D, E, K, and A, and the water-soluble vitamins B2, B3, B5, B6, B7, and B12. The issue of taste is a rather subjective question, but heat treatment can cause some flavor changes such as cooked flavors. But heat treatment also prevents enzymatic and bacterial-derived flavor defects. Raw milk can contain a higher fat content than standardized milk, which can change the organoleptic properties in a way that might be preferable. It really is just a matter of preference. Raw milk does contain native lactic acid bacteria, and these bacteria are suggested to have a positive impact on human health. Pasteurization does destroy these organisms. But these bacteria have limited growth at refrigeration temperature, which raw milk is usually stored at and are not present in a high enough amount to survive digestion and thus provide those health benefits. So neither raw nor pasteurized milk provide beneficial bacteria. While raw milk contains some antimicrobial activity, this activity is limited. Due to a neutral pH, high water activity, and high nutrient content, Raw milk is a welcome home for any bacteria that happen to enter it. Having a sip of raw milk is just noshing on a pathogen potpourri of Campylobacter and Salmonella species, along with Listeria monocytogenes and human pathogenic E. coli. Oh no! Get him, Pasteur! Everyone thank one of the fathers of microbiology for making food safer. So let's look at the final score. With an increased microbial risk and practically no benefits over its heat-treated cousin, it looks like pasteurized milk wins the day! Yay! Of course, if you want to drink raw milk and know the risks involved, go ahead and do it. As for me, when it comes to drinking milk, I say it's better safe than salmonella. <laughs>